Hi everybody and welcome to today's art class. This week our theme is bugs. So today we are going to start off with one of my favorites, a ladybug. So I have a pencil and an eraser and I have my uh, markers that I'm going to use today. So let's get started. So step number one Actually, step number one is putting our name on the paper. So I'm going to do that. So we're going to start out with our ladybug's head, which kind of looks like a funny shape, but it's actually, it will be quite easy to draw, I think, for us. Okay, so we're going to start out with a slight curve upward. Um, and notice this is where my middle line is. I'm just above that, okay? And I'm going right across the middle, almost like a curve you would do for a smiley face. Now, I'm going to draw on this side of the curve a line up. And on this side of the curve, a line up. And I want them to be almost the same height. Okay? And then I'm going to draw another slight curve, like a little rainbow across to touch the other one. Okay, and now remember, we can always change our lines to make it um, uh, however we like. So I want to make it a little bit more curved. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to draw the lines that I like. I think those are the lines I like. Remember using whisper lines. That means really soft lines, so they're easy to erase. And now I'm going to erase the lines I no longer want. So if we like this shape, which I do, we're going to lock it in. Go ahead and make those darker lines. Okay. Step number two is going to be drawing the body of the ladybug. So this, I'm going to make a little tiny dot on this side of my ladybug's head and a little tiny dot on that side of my ladybug's head, and then I'm going to make a big oval connecting them, okay? Or you could draw an oval and then erase that part of the oval out of your ladybug's head in a moment. Watch, I'll show you that way too. So here's my oval. I won't have very much room for my ladybug legs. That's okay. I'm going to give it smaller legs. So I have a lot of lines there to clean up. So I'm going to erase that oval part if I drew it through my ladybug's head. And I'm going to erase any lines and dots I no longer need, keeping the lines that we want and erasing the ones that we don't so we don't get confused later on. I'm going to fix this part too. Remember the book? Oops. There's no... Um, there's no big mistakes, just creative ways to fix things and to make it unique in our own. Okay. There we go. So that's step number two we just did. Yay! Step number three is drawing the details of the ladybug's head. Okay, so <clears throat> these are really, really tiny little things on this printout. I know it looks tiny, but we'll be able to do it together, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little rabbit ear right here. And a little rabbit ear right here. These are um, the little the little things out in front. Okay, and you kind of want them about the same size. This one's a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Good. Now we're gonna draw a bigger rabbit ear, a little bit taller, next to it on the outside, and a bigger one next to it on the outside, about the same height as the other one. Okay, and now we're just going to draw a circle on top of that. And if it, oh, if it crosses over at all, I'm just going to erase 
inside the circle. Make it nice and clean. So now I'm going to draw a rainbow from the edge of this outside rabbit ear to the edge of this outside rabbit ear. Watch. Ooh, rainbow. Awesome. And we are going to draw a line down the middle of our ladybug's back. Okay. Awesome job with step number three, guys. Step number four is drawing the front legs. So. I'm going to draw a rectangle, a very long skinny rectangle that looks like a, a macaroni noodle. And then I'm going to give that macaroni noodle a wizard hat. And on this side, I'm going to draw a macaroni noodle that looks the same shape as that other one. All the way back to the body. And then I'm going to give it a wizard hat, which is kind of like a curved... Um, curved triangle here. I'll do it again and show you. Bring that up. Down. Again, I want it to look very similar to that one. Good. So step number four is complete. Step number five is drawing these back legs. We're going to do the same thing. Macaroni noodle and silly wizard hat. Okay. So I'm going to draw my macaroni noodle. Okay. And then a silly wizard hat, or whatever you want to call it. Or maybe it's um, a candle on a flame. So let's do it on this side. I'll do my candle. Oops, I'll go this way. They're not exactly symmetrical, but that's okay. Remember, symmetrical means the same on both sides, or as close to the same as you can. Now I need to draw a silly flame for the back leg. Okay, and now let's do one last macaroni noodle. One last macaroni noodle. Okay. <clears throat> and then another flame to your upside down candle or ladybug foot. So now we're gonna draw our dots. Now you don't need to do your dots exactly how this ladybug is done. You can do them however you please, okay? I'm going to do what they drew just so I can um, demonstrate their drawing, but you can do it however you please. Get creative. If you even want to make them hearts, that would be super cute. Okay? <clears throat> and I want to make my ladybug a little bit cuter. So if you want to make your ladybug cute or want to add anything cute to it, like maybe you want to give your ladybug like really cute, really cute eyes or something, you could do that. Maybe you want to give it a bow. You know, whatever. Actually, you know what I'm going to do on my ladybug? I'm just going to give her little round feet. I think this will look so much cuter. You can leave it however you want. There we go. And I'm going to give her a little smiley face. Now, this is not how ladybugs look, guys. I'm just making, I'm just having fun with it now. <clears throat> so there's my ladybug. So that is um, step number six. We just did the finishing touches. Uh, now step number seven and eight have to do with painting. We're not gonna be painting it or I'm not gonna be painting it. I'm gonna be using markers. So ignore step number seven and step number eight. Okay, this is for paint only. If you wanna try it with paint, I would love that, but you do, you do not need to follow those if you're not using paint. So. Let's see, but I am gonna start with red. I think that's a good choice. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do my body red. Now the head does not go red. I am gonna give my ladybug red cheeks cause I think that's gonna be so cute. So I'm just making red circles. Okay, remember we always outline first with our markers and our crayons colored pencils. I'm even going to outline these dots. Even though they're going to go black, it doesn't really matter. 
it's still a good habit to practice. I'm not going to outline this middle line because it will go, um, it'll be an, um, a line that I'm going to outline in a different color later. Okay. So now going the same direction, back and forth, back and forth. Remember if you're using markers or paint or Sharpie or felt tip pens, um, you're going to want something down underneath your white paper because this printer paper, um, it uh, leaks through and you don't want to get whatever you're, you're using as your, your desk to, to get messed up because of the supplies you're using. We always want to leave our space cleaner than we found it. So make sure you grab something to put underneath your paper. So just remember, go back and forth, back and forth, no white spaces. Remember, we don't want to see any white spaces. We want to practice coloring in all the way, taking our time, going nice and even, back and forth, filling in any white spots. Okay. Good job, guys. Don't forget this little spot. It's hard because there's white spots for the dots, I know, guys. Um, but you know what? The cool thing is, if you miss a spot and then see it later, you can always get your red back out and fill it back in. No big deal. <clears throat> there we go. So next, I am going to take out um the let's see yeah let's do um i'm gonna do yellow next for the background because when we add black to things friends it um and then we use a lighter color on top of the black it it really makes the yellows and the lighter colors dirty so i'm gonna do my light colors first and then do my dark colors so i'm i'm not being too careful to outline because i know i'm gonna go all over it in black again See, even just touching the black part where your paper printed is smearing black everywhere with the yellow. So outline, fill in. I'm just being real quick with this, guys. And then we'll do all the fun detail work with the black. That's when our picture is really going to come to life. Not really come to life, but really going really gonna to look nice to our eyes aesthetically pleasing I mean it's, it, it looks really nice to you it's pleasing to your eyes okay so I got that section done this section's all done I do see some white spots that I'm gonna try to fill in I'm gonna try to follow my own rules too I'm gonna outline his little or her little legs There can be boy ladybugs too. Oops, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit my camera, guys. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna color this one in. There we go. Almost there. And I'm going to do my ladybug, I think, a little bit differently than they do. Um, and I'll show you how in a moment. <clears throat> there we go. So now, it looks pretty silly now without any black, but let's add some black and some gray. I'm going to use black and gray instead of all black, um, just because... I think that it'll look nice. Um, I'm gonna start out with my my eyes of my ladybug. Now here's the thing: the whole head is going white, so if you, or I mean, going black. So if you add eyes, you want to leave a white circle around the blacks of the eyes, so you can tell the difference between the eyes and the head. 
So now I'm gonna outline the white of the eye so that there's that difference between the eye and the ladybug. And then I'm gonna color it. And I'm also gonna outline my cheek and this little nose part. There's lots of details, so please go very, very slow. Take your time. Do you see how slow I'm going? Like a snail. There you go. Again, I'm going to outline this eye, leaving white around it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do um, the legs black. Oop, oop, oop. And remember if it's too hard to outline and then color in, you can just kind of color it in, it's okay. Okay, and now I'm going to outline my whole um, ladybug's body. Going very slow, taking my time. I'm going to draw the line down the center of my ladybug's back. I'm going to fill in these guys, these little bits. in the nose. Now, if you're using um, with marker, it doesn't really matter to that I did this because the black, you're not going to really see it. I left a little bit of a white mark. You can't really see it. But if you're using um, colored pencils or crayons, um, that line will show up better and it'll look cool. And I just said it, I'm not going to use gray after all. I'm just going to stick with black. It's okay. The gray's too light for what I wanted to do. So I'm just coloring the spots. If you want to go in circles too, you can always do that. one ta-da you have a ladybug so thank you guys so much for uh, drawing with me today and I will see you next time next time is gonna be a snail oh boy so until next time bye guys